Hey guys, so we're going to use our epoxy garage floor coating in this basement to restore this concrete floor and make it look brand new and make it waterproof. This is actually the basement of a ice cream shop and in this basement, you know, they have their freezer right there. They, they actually make the ice cream down here. So they needed a brand new floor, a waterproof floor, so they could wash down all their equipment, keep everything nice and clean and neat. And before they had some type of paint on here and they, they just couldn't keep the paint on the floor. It was just it was just peeling off and it was an absolute mess. So we're grinding all that stuff off. We're getting it right back down to bare concrete. We're gonna fix all the spalling and all the cracks and then we'll go over it with our with our brand new epoxy garage floor coating. The same type of coating that we use uh, in all our garage floors where we broadcast the flakes in them. Right now, Darren's mixing up our, our uh, secret sauce there that <laughs> repairs concrete. This is our fast setting repair mix, and it's going to repair all those micro cracks, the voids, the spalling, and restore the concrete back to where we can put a nice coating on it and it won't fail anymore. But if you guys are interested in doing stuff like this, this type of coating, you know, I, I teach you how to do that. I got a garage floor epoxy coating course down in the description of the video so you can check that out just click on that and I teach you step by step just like what we're gonna do in this video right here now right now Luke's grinding off that stuff dries in like 15 minutes so he's grinding off the excess and everything else has been filled in all the cracks all the voids and all that so we're gonna show you the complete process coming up right here all right so we've got everything ground we got all our repairs done, fi fixed all the cracks, all the spalling, got everything vacuumed out really nice and clean, and we're ready to stop put the coating down. There's four of us here today. We got an extra helper today. We're gonna go up that little, we're gonna go up that little knee wall too, and do that, do that little knee wall, do that little area there that's kind of sloped up so water doesn't get in there. They wash this floor down when they when they make ice cream here floor gets real dirty so they wash it all down they just didn't want water going under the wall everything's all clean Darren's out here he's got his mix and station all ready to go we'll mix right there part A there's part B two to one got our flake right there so we're gonna get going here any minute all right, so what we do first is we get all the edges cut in. We've got a lot of edges on this one. And then once we get the edges cut in with the chip brush, we'll go behind it with the four inch roller and just get that rolled out a little bit wider away from the wall. Then we can come behind with the 18, get it spread out nice and even. Then we just keep going with another kit. So we've got one kit here. It's going to bring us out about eight feet. Next kit will bring us out some more. And that's it. We just do it in stages, you know, one kit at a time, one kit at a time. And then once we get down three or four kits, I'll go back in and start flaking. Darren's mixing another kit back there. Now, if you're thinking of doing any type of uh, epoxy coating, especially in your garage, you're going to want to use a really high quality epoxy like we're using. We're using 100% solids epoxy. And basically what 100% solids means is when, when you mix it, when you mix part A and part B together, and then you roll it down like we're doing right here, after it cures, 100% of what you roll down is still left on the floor when it's hardened. Versus when you buy a cheaper epoxy at a big box store, those might be 50% solids or 60% solids. And what that means is the other, the rest of it, the remaining is just the carrier, like it's either water or solvent-based carrier that just makes rolling it down a little easier. The only problem with that is if it's, let's say it's a 50% solids, after it cures out and dries out, 50% of that evaporates and is gone and you're only left with the other 50%. So it's only half the thickness of what you rolled out that's why those big buck ones are really cheap and I mean they're really easy to apply they 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 make them for people who really don't know what they're doing so 
but they don't last. They're just going to wear off, especially under hot tires or even in most cases under foot traffic. So if you're going to if you're going to do an epoxy coating, you want to learn how to do it right and you want to use the right products. And I'll sh I'll show you how to do that all all down in that course, guys. So anyway, that's how we do it. And then you say you got to scrape it off afterwards. Yeah, cuz they're sticking up. You know, you got to smooth them out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we got it all base coated and flaked. Now we just got to, we're going to let it dry today. We'll come back in the morning. We'll scrape it, vacuum it, and then put the top coat on it. So we'll show you how we're going to do that. All right, so what we're doing now is we're scraping the flake. And the reason, the reason we scrape the flake is because when we, when we throw it in the base coat, it sticks up all different directions. So we're scraping it flat smoothing out the flake so we can put the top coat over it so after we get done scraping we'll vacuum and we'll be ready for top coat all right so after we get done scraping now we gotta vacuum up all the loose flake on the floor there's still a lot of loose flake so we'll go around we'll get the edges first a lot of edges in this one and we'll just vacuum everything up so we get you know, as much of the loose flake as we possibly can, 99.9% .9 of it, then we'll be ready to top coat. So this is the next process. It takes a little while, but it's just all part of the process. Got that four inch roller with you? Oh, yeah. that, okay. So that's it, that's the finished product. All top coated, all flaked, brand new floor, perfectly waterproof. 
scratch resistant. Be able, they'll be able to wash this down now with no problems. Everything's going to go to the drain. Nothing's going to soak into the concrete. So that's that's the finished floor.